Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick, the King of Cars. Today we're here at Cold Brew Cars and Coffee in Lyle for their monthly meeting. This is an amazing show and it's in a great location too. This is only their second time doing it here, but it's an incredible time. There are some amazing cars already here. I got my coffee, I got my car. Today's gonna be a great day and I hope you stick around. Starting off with some incredible cars from Chicago Motor Cars. We have this Aventador SVJ 63 edition, one of only 63 coupes. This car is admittedly kind of a weird special edition because it's just a sticker package, but it's a cool spec on top of that because you get exposed carbon fiber roof that you don't get on a regular SVJ. There are no SVJs, as far as I'm aware, I could be wrong about that, that have exposed carbon fiber roofs. On top of that is also a really nice Inatech exhaust. Not my first choice of exhaust for this car, but it is still really cool. Moving on, we've got an Audi RS6 with a roof box, very nice. A black 488 Pista lowered on big wheels, it looks pretty nice. A McLaren 600 LT Spider, which is a really nice car until I go to the other side and you see a lot of forged carbon, which that was a fad for about five minutes. And to be honest, I, I'm not a huge fan. It's also a really nice Mark IV Supra and an even nicer RX-7. Porsches are really big in the Chicagoland area, as you might have been able to notice in some of my previous videos. I mean, you've got every generation. You got your G-Bodies, you got your 997s, 992s. You got the 993 RWB that was featured in the Chicago, or the Lincoln Common video. 991s, more 992s. Porsches, for as long as the eye can see, and a dog, very nice dog. Also have the MSOX, admittedly, not in the greatest spec, but this car was also in the Lincoln Common video. And this car, well, it was pretty tightly packed around this car in that video, so here's a better look at it. For those of you who haven't seen the Lincoln Common video, this car is based on McLaren F1 GTR 10R, which is owned by Pink Floyd drummer Nick Mason. This thing is a really interesting spec. It doesn't really work for a modern car, but because it's based on a race car, it is really cool. Quite a nice combo here of pretty identical specs with the 992 GT3 and the McLaren Artura, McLaren's new V6 hybrid. Haven't seen many of these out and about, and it's really nice to see one. I think this is the first one that showed up to a local car show, especially at Cars and Coffee, and it is a really nice car. I don't know what color of blue this is. It's a solid color, so there's no metallic in it, but it kind of works. It's a really nice color, really nice car as well. I would love to experience one of these at some point in the future. A lot of exotics pulling in here, starting off with this black F8 Spider. It's a really nice spec, albeit very simple, but black with red interior is always a win for these cars. I really, really like that. Behind that, you see an Aventador pulling in there and an SF90 behind that. And I believe Giallo Monte Carlo, which was the launch color for the Spider, which is a very polarizing color on that car. I personally am not a huge fan of it, but look at that Aventador. It's a Roadster, it's got some body mods. Got the SF90 behind. Yeah, not too sure on the color, but this is a Stradale, so it's a coupe. What do you guys think? You like the color? Let me know in the comments. On top of that, a red GTC4 Lusso. Not many Lussos are in red. Imagine that, a Ferrari that is mostly specced and not red. What a world we live in. Also coming in here is the Python Green GT4 RS that also is at Chicago Car Games. And the Gallardo right here as well. Unsubscribing. <laughs> Andy Thompson, unsubscribe. Went back to my car to check something and look what's parked next to it. A brand new Corvette Z06 convertible. I haven't seen many of these out in the flesh yet and I think this is amazing. This is one of my favorite new cars because it's basically an American 458. Obviously I'm inclined to love Ferrari and Chevy. So this is honestly the perfect car for me. I love that bike car and one of my dream cars are now parked next to each other and I didn't even intend for that to happen. So that's really, really cool. And that's a nice color too. It's a nice silver, which shows up really well on camera. And the red interior on this car is absolutely incredible. Very, very nice car. I would love to have one of these. This is so high up on my list of cars that I want to own in the future. And while I was filming that bit, I completely missed this rolling in a McLaren Senna brought by Chicago Motor Cars, black, orange accents. This is a really nice spec, a simple one, but it's a really cool one nonetheless. Man, this car is just insane from all angles. It is a car very much sculpted by science rather than design. 
Everything on this car serves a purpose. Look at the huge swan neck rear wing, the huge diffuser, the exhaust coming out of the top of the rear bumper. Look at this paintwork. It is a really flaky black metallic paint. It's a bit dirty right now, but that's okay. That means this car is being driven. Man, this thing is just awesome. So, there's a bit of a hypercar presence here today. This car is really, really cool. Senna's moving. The duality here is absolutely unreal. More cars have also just pulled in, including this STO and a very interesting spec, Verde Citrea with orange accents. Not too sure about that one. But then, if we go over here, look at that. McLaren 765 LT Spider in black. I haven't seen this car yet. Did not know this car was around. Blue accents in the interior, very nice spec. And then a yellow Huracan. FH2 nostalgia spec right there. Love that. Over here we have a new Maserati MC20. Not many of these in the area, but this is a color I haven't seen before. This is a dark gray with a blue accents in the interior. Very nice. I like these cars quite a lot. A lot of people are skeptical about the Maserati. Oh, it's because it's a Maserati. Hello. <laughs> man just spawned out of nowhere. But this one is quite nice. Uh, police plate, so this man will get no tickets. But overall, this is a really nice spec and a really cool car. More cars rolling in, including the new 992 Porsche 911 Dakar. Haven't seen one of these in the flush yet. Very cool. Also on top of that, a 360 Challenge Stradale in an incredible spec. Blue TDF with white wheels. This spec is crazy. One of the best spec Challenge Stradales I've ever seen. Here's a closer look at the Dakar. Look at those big chunky tires. Never seen anything like this on a factory 911. This thing is so freaking cool. I love this new era of off-road style sports and supercars. Including this and the Huracan Storado. Seems like he's trying to pull in over here. So we'll get a good look at the front of this car. This thing is awesome. All this cladding here to make it more durable off-road. Turbo style front bumper, but obviously more reinforced, able to take jumps and just have a lot of fun, which is what this car is about. And I really like this car. And here comes the Challenge Stradale. Very, very beautiful spec. Just missing it, only just, but the Senna is on its way out. That was a really cool car to see. Show is starting to wrap up here, but there's still guys pulling in. We got two McLaren 720S's, one in the form of a Spider and one as a coupe, as well as a black Turbo S behind. This color on the 720 is very, very nice. Not sure which shade of blue this is, but man, is it cool. The orange accents really works. 63 on its way out. Very nice spec. That Inatec exhaust making a decent noise and the photographer hive mind it seems to agree. Look at all those guys following. Very cool. Red perf on its way out. Also, this Gulf Blue GT4 RS. I didn't see this car earlier, but this is probably the nicest spec GT4 RS I've ever seen. Gulf Blue, gold wheels. Really, really nice. The show's just starting to wrap up here. It's been an amazing time today. We've got Milo over there getting pictures of the Camaro. So, shout out to Milo. Shout out to Milo! Welcome to the vlog. Thanks for getting some amazing pictures of the Camaro. I'll put some in right here. Sweet. Yeah, just heading out now. Gonna go get some lunch and it's been a great day today. The weather is absolutely sublime. Couldn't ask for a better show. We're out at rock bottom here in Warrenville. Got the Camaro, got Tim's Maserati, Jake's Vet, Paul's M5. We got Andy's amazing Nissan Versa. Couldn't bring the Aston out today. Then we got Chris's brand new Toyota Corolla Apex Edition quite the variety in these six cars here but that's how it is here also joining us is that pink range rover evoke which everybody is finding quite gaudy that's something else just got back home albeit with a few technical difficulties but that's a story for another day it was an amazing time at cold brew today and i just wanted to say a couple more things about that show because it is my favorite show in the area by far i've been going to car shows in the chicagoland area since I was a kid. A lot of people have put together amazing shows with supercars and hypercars, but Ryan, the host of Cold Brew, has done something different. He's brought together the best cars, but the best people as well. The vibes at Cold Brew are always incredible, and I've always felt part of the family since I was going there when it started back in 2020. It is just the most incredible time, and incredible cars as well. What's not to like? And speaking of incredible cars, of which there were many today, you had the Senna, the SVJ63, bunch of other Lambos, Ferraris, McLarens, Porsches, some incredible stuff. 
just you guys wait because in some future videos there may or may not be some insane cars that have not featured on the channel before but you got to stay tuned for that but if you enjoyed the video remember to like comment subscribe you know the usual turn on the notification bell all the typical youtube stuff but until the next couple videos that may or may not be featuring some amazing cars this is me patrick the king of cars thank you for watching take care